Okay guys, I'm back. We'll keep going. The kids uh, wants to keep sliding. They're at the bottom of the hill. They're all at the bottom of the hill sliding and having fun. Yeah. So that's good. We all come uh, all come together. I got them out. It's pretty much me that instigated it because it's uh, like if I don't uh, not that my my wife is very outgoing too. She goes out with them a lot. But, uh, this one this morning was like come on guys we're gonna go to the chilling spot and you can slide while I make video so that gives me also uh, a good time with them no? no I take break in my video chat it's a good time outside me I like to whether it's a uh, summer or winter yeah winter I don't uh, I don't appreciate winter as I as much as I appreciate summer no? A different vibe <laughs> a different vibe it's much colder but still give thanks you know every season is a every day is a new day every day is a new beginning is a new chance to rise and shine and to express our greatness and to move forward and to grow and to yeah criticism Criticism may not be agreeable, agreeable, but it but it is necessary. It fulfills the same function as pain. Oh no. I'm having so pro so much problem turning the page. No? Turn off. Oh, my hands, are, my hands are frozen too. Né? It's hard to turn those pages. Né? It's minus 10. Né? It looks warm né? because I am warm. Hold on, I'll put that camera down. Né? I'm having problem here. Né? <laughs> bon. Put my glove. Né? It's not the warmest weather. Okay, we're back. We're back. We're back. Yeah, so... Uh, so what was I saying? Oh no. Yeah. Criticism may not be agreeable, but it is necessary. It fulfills the same function as pain in the human body. It calls attention to an unhealthy state of things. Calls attention to an unhealthy state of things. Yeah, criticism is like pain. It's necessary. It's necessary to grow. You must have pain to grow. No pain, no gain. No pain, no gain. You must have pain to grow. The pain can come in many different forms either physical pain like I have and you grow from that my knee is killing me killing me but it's not killing me <laughs> I shouldn't say that because you see again the vocabulary I use is a uh, is wrong so it's not killing me it's a uh, it's really my knee is empowering me my knee is empowering me but the, the pain the pain is there the pain is empowering me you see I mean, even me now with the programming I with the you see the bad the negative state of mind that we have naturally I naturally said the first thing that came out my mind was my pain is killing me when it's that it's not killing me it's making me live it's making me uh, discover life I've never felt so alive <laughs> so you see how we but the the programming and the na and the negative state of being tells me that my pain is killing me but that's all we are that's why I'm here and I will keep coming here because I want to uh, to grow and expand in consciousness and realize those things that I say wrong and I, I do wrong and yeah he has a right to criticize who has a heart to help exactly like Ivar like Ivar at the heart to help has the heart to help anytime anytime so if, he, if Ivar criticizes something that I do <laughs> I take it very constructively, constructive way, because he's willing to help. 
he's a guy that will take a shirt of his back for someone, I'm sure. He's a... Uh... You've heard me talk a lot about Ivar, but uh, Ivar is uh, my soul brother in all them. And, uh, I love that man so much. He's a great, great... Uh... Great inspiration, first of all, for me. Great... Uh... Great motivator, great, great man, just great, just, uh, just a great man. Yeah, Ivar is just a great man. I have no right by anything I do or say to demean a human being in his own eyes. What matters is not what I think of him, is what he thinks of himself. To undermine a man's self-respect is a sin, is a sin. Wow, I gotta repeat that one. I have no right by anything I do or say to demean a human being in his own eyes. What matters is not what I think of him. It is what he thinks of himself. To undermine a man's self-respect is a sin. Is a sin what you're about. Do what you feel in your heart to be right, for you'll be criticized anyway. You'll be damned if you do and damned if you don't. <laughs> so speak your mind. You'll be damned if you do, damned if you don't. It's a very strange world. Very strange world. But the thing is the people in there that are strange. It's not the world so much that is strange. It's the people in it. <coughs> yeah, it's the people in the world. Listen to this one. One mustn't criticize other people on grounds where he can't stand perpendicular himself. Yeah, judge not before you judge yourself and don't criticize people if you haven't walked in their shoes. Don't criticize people if you haven't walked a mile in their shoe. Everybody has his own journey. Everybody is a... Uh, not, not everybody's trying to find the meaning of life, but I mean... Everybody has his, his own journey here. Some are gonna wake up, some are, some don't. But do it, because if you don't, You'll be damned, and if you do, you'll be damned anyway. That was excellently absurd. Say I, when I read a passage in an author where his opinion agrees with mine. When we differ, then I pronounce him to be mistaken. Any fool can criticize, condemn, and complain, and most fools do. Don't be a fool. Don't be a fool. Stand up, take power, and fight. Don't be a fool. Flatter me, and I may not believe you. Criticize me, and I may not like you. Ignore me, and I may not forgive you. Encourage me, and I will not forget you. Love me, and I may be forced to love you. Love me, and I may be forced to love you. Listen to that, Kim. Flatter me, and I may not believe you. Criticize me, and I may not like you. Ignore me. And I may not forgive you. Encourage me. And I will not forget you. Love me. And I may be forced to love you. A man interrupted one of Buddha's lecture with a flood of abuse. Buddha waited until he had finished and then asked him. If a man offered a gift to another but the gift was declined. To whom would the gift belong? To the one who offered it, said the man. Then said the Buddha, I decline to accept your abuse and request you to keep it for yourself. Exactly. Children needs models rather than critics. Children needs models. Children needs role models. Especially these days with the society we live in. Children more than anything need role models and not to be criticized. So that's very important for me to be a role model for my children. To, uh, 
I don't preach I have the all uh, the answers and everything but I am living to my uh, true self my uh, and that's what I want them to do also to not accept just society stereotype be yourself be you and the world will adjust he's up